Today, the community of Uvalde, Texas, marked an emotional one year since the massacre at Robb Elementary. 19 students and two teachers were killed in one of the deadliest school shootings in American history. CBS's Lilia Luciano has been covering the story from the start and spoke with families about their pain and frustration, with many still searching for answers. As the church bells tolled in Uvalde, President Biden marked the day, calling on Congress to pass stricter gun laws. We hear the same message, do something. For God's sake, please do something. In the past year, Uvalde's strength has been strained by broken trust. You get so angry at seeing anybody in uniform because you're like, why didn't you save my child? Berlinda Arriola's step-granddaughter, Amory Jo Garza, died in the attack. She says Uvalde families are still seething, knowing that 376 officers from more than 20 agencies waited more than an hour to stop the shooter. The trust is gone, and it's unfortunate. You feel like you might be reluctant to make that 911 call. Right. None of that is going to change until the accountability and justice is served. To help build trust in the local police department, in April, Uvalde's mayor, Don McLaughlin, hired an outside assistant police chief. Of the 25 officers that were at the school that day, how many are still protecting this town? Five have resigned, 20 are still on the force. I couldn't believe it happened. Andrea Herrera survived the shooting, but her 10-year-old stepbrother, Jose Flores, was killed in another classroom. I wish people knew that, how it feels to lose someone in, in the shooting and then you were there and then how it felt. They don't understand, understand that. A crucial question that remains on everyone's mind is whether or not anybody will face charges for that police response. Well, the DA tells us that she's still waiting for the Texas Rangers to finish their criminal investigation before she can even determine whether or not to present it to a grand jury. Nora. Lilia Luciano, thank you for all of your reporting from there.